Skin cancer is one of the most common cancers that people can be diagnosed with. That's why it's very, very important that people get screened for skin cancer. The people who are most at risk for skin cancer, very light skin. So think blue eyes, red hair, lots of freckles. People who have any family history of melanoma, people who may take certain medications that predispose them to developing skin cancer. Also generally people who have Caucasian skin tone and are over the age of 50. But people who even have darker complexions can still develop skin cancer such as melanoma. So it's really important to be able to go to your doctor and talk about the importance of screening and how often they need to go. We also use the A, B, C, D, E's. So A is for a lesion that's asymmetric. B is for it has irregular borders around it. Or C, it's a different color within the same lesion. D, the diameter. So generally we're looking for lesions about the size of a pencil eraser. And E, it's evolving or it's changing over time. These are all the things that we look for when we're doing a skin exam. So if we find something that's concerning, what we'll do is recommend a biopsy. Take a small sample of that area. Once that result is back, call you and discuss the next steps of treatment. If you get those really bad blistering sunburns, that raises your risk down the road of developing skin cancer. So really, really it's important to use that sunscreen, buy that UPF clothing, stay in the shade, avoid those peak hours of the day. Now it's really important that you have an SPF of 30 or above. The other thing is you have to use the right amount. An average adult is gonna use about a shot glass worth of sunscreen, and it's important to reapply the sunscreen about every two hours or so if you're out in the sun, and especially if you're out, you know, and you're playing in the water. The other thing is, you know, wear a wide brimmed hat. So that's important because it protects your face, it also protects your ears and the back of your neck from the sun. The other thing that you can do is you can try to do activities that avoid the peak hours of the day. So generally that's in the middle of the day. So if you can do activities in the morning or do activities in the evening if you have the choice. The bottom line is we want you to be considering sun safety when you're out having fun during the summer. And we also want you to think about going to your doctor and getting screened if there's any area that you're concerned about on your skin.